while I'm here. So this definitely feels very American because of the grid system and I've already encountered my first roundabout. Which I'm not surprised about, like Milton Keynes is known for the roundabouts. I don't know the same electric scooters we've got back in London. They've definitely factored in pedestrians when they designed this town because like it's really easy to like navigate and walk around like all cool urbanism. Like isn't really a thing in the UK. Like it's starting to happen across Europe. But obviously because it's like example new town, they've kind of played around with like what would happen in the future and like took into consideration. I don't know if I'm speaking a load of what for, but yeah, it's just my first impression just like walking around. So yeah, there's loads of these like boulevards, they're called like they intersect and they've got subways underneath, so yet again sort of showing that they're taking pedestrians into consideration. And there's one just up there, so I'll show you. Another thing I've noticed is that they love cycling here. Like, there's so many cycle lanes like built in to the system, and yeah, there's an example of the bike rack there. The shopping centre is massive. I'm already lost. Great. I just wanted a McDonald's. Actually, why did I come all the way to Milton Keynes just to get a McDonald's? Like, I'll see what else there is. I mean, I'm literally walking around the Christmas market right now, I've got to get something here. As long as the queue isn't too big. Well, I found the problems. So, yeah, I'm starving. I might as well go in here before I get even more lost. We've got like a whole Christmas like fun fair with inside the shopping centre. It definitely reminds me of like a super size version of like the garden centre displays you get at Christmas time. There's like so much to look at and there's like loads of stalls. I'm gonna be here a while, it's gonna take me ages to like look around and try and find the exit. Seeing everyone walk around with Lego bags, I couldn't resist going in. Britain like reminded me of my childhood. I didn't get anything though. I did find some things to put on my Christmas list, potentially. It's certainly interesting. So unlike most towns. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and there's like a DJ set going on over there. Anyway, as I was about to say, unlike most towns that have like High Street and like loads of shopping streets, Milton Keynes just has one massive shopping centre. It's on one level as well. So it made like finding my way around really difficult. It took me like two hours just to like find the exit. Like, honestly. So here's another example of what I was talking about earlier about prioritising pedestrians and cyclists. So we've got the path here for pedestrians and then you've got a cycle lane right next to it. But then the path just suddenly ends here, so do I go onto the bike lane? I don't know. I mean people are walking down here, so I guess yeah pedestrians can use the path. Now, I believe this building here is Milton Keynes Library. So down there, there's one roundabout. Down there, there's another roundabout. So I just found out that the network of paths and cycle paths around here is known as the Redway. And there's these like little robots that go around and deliver like food and stuff. So I want to see if I can find one of those. There's tiny little roundabouts even in the middle of the paths. Love it. Okay, so it turns out that the delivery robots only operate in certain areas of the city. So currently, Walking to the other side of Milton Keynes to track them down. So I didn't realise how early it gets dark now. But like it's not even 3 pm yet, it's yeah, 2.50 and the sun is already really low in the sky. Winter is definitely here. <laughs> on its way anyway. Is it winter yet? It's November. I'll let you decide. So yeah, it turns out EasyJet don't just do flights, they also have hotels. So it's really empty, honestly. Yeah, but this road here, apart from cars driving on the wrong side of the road, it just feels so American. 
It's hard to explain, but it just does. Yeah, lots of reflection glass in these buildings, which is definitely reminiscent of the 1960s era when this was built. So I noticed this walking from the train station to the city centre, but the city centre is way out from the train station. It's at least like a mile walk. So you, like up until then, you've got just office blocks and car parks either side. So I'm trying to think of like, the motive and reason behind it. Yeah, it must have been in the plan when they were designing this town. Because it's obviously a Pathway town. Why they didn't put a city centre around the train station. But then yeah, instead of have it all the way up there. Can, yeah, definitely gonna have to research this on the train on the way back. Another thing I've noticed is that there's no high rise buildings, it's all like low to mid rise. It's kind of sad to see how overgrown this soccer path is like, compared to the rest of the city and like how well maintained it is. This just feels forgotten. Yeah, it does feel like I'm in the dead end of nowhere right now. It's half three and it's already getting dark. Welcome to winter! Oh, in some ways it's good and in some ways it's just so annoying. I miss summer when it was like 10 pm, still light outside. Okay, if they're anywhere, they'll be down one of these paths. Okay, if there was any to be around here, they would be on paths like this. But I don't think I can see them. No. Uh, oh, the search continues. I'm starting to lose hope that we won't find one today. But I'll try and like insert a video of them just to prove that they do exist. So, guys just literally driving through a housing estate and I noticed this a robot delivering groceries yeah so these houses here must have been a part of a village before Milton Keynes was built and then obviously they built the new town right next door so that uh, and engulfed it if it wasn't for the road noise I'd honestly think I was in the middle of the countryside like the horses in the field and the church in the background so idyllic. Honestly, right now it does not feel like I'm in Milton Keynes. Like, I've been transported to the English countryside, even though I'm in the middle of a massive new town. So I found the church, but it was in the background of one of the earlier clips. Sorry, you'll have to bear with me with the road noise because I think I'm going over the A5 at the minute. But yeah, I'm just coming up to the station. It's just gone half four. So I'm just debating whether I go straight back Although I go and visit the UK's largest asthma, which is in Bletchley, which is like the next town along, it's, yeah, it's the next stop. But then it's like half an hour walk from the station. Like, can I really be bothered? Oh, I don't know. Bit of a predicament. Uh, I'll basically just have to go and check the train times, basically. And yeah, make my mind up from there. So, sorry about the bad lighting, it's properly getting dark now. But yeah, this map explains what I was talking about earlier. So, the station is down here. And then the shopping district is all the way up here. Alas, my Milton Keynes journey has come to an end. I was going to go to the UK's largest town but it was like a two mile walk from Bletchley Station along an A road. I don't even know if it has a path, so I don't really want to risk it. I don't see if I can make another excuses. Maybe another day, I will go. But yeah, anyway, it's a good time. I'm gonna, yeah, do some more research just to find out more about humble beginnings of this town and edit.